Hey everyone, this is Josh Carney. I'm a recording engineer, producer, musician, and songwriter, and I'm back with another Persona Studio One 4 course. In this course, I'll show you all the ins and outs of MIDI recording and editing. This includes note entry techniques like step record, all of the quantization features, the MIDI actions, an overview of Studio One's instruments, as well as an overview of all four of Studio One's MIDI note effects. And I'll also cover some advanced MIDI features like multi-instruments and using macros. So let's get right into this. I'll create a new song. I'll give this a name, I'll just call it MIDI One. And then you can choose your desired sample rate, resolution, time base, uh, song length, tempo, time signature, and key signature. For musical projects, make sure that your time base is set to bars, so things synchronize to uh, musical timings like bars, beats, and ticks. The song length, I'll just keep it five minutes. The tempo, I'm gonna change to 128 BPM, and I'll keep a time signature of 4-4 time. When you choose your key signature, it allows you to select the key from a circle of fifths. So on the inner wheel are all minor keys, and on the outer wheel are all major keys. So my song is in C minor, so I'll select C minor here. And if you don't know what the key of your song is, just leave it blank. You can always change it later. I'm gonna keep the stretch audio files option on and keep the play overlaps option off. So I'll hit okay, and it brings me to my song page. So the first thing I need to do is set up my MIDI controller so that it can communicate and send MIDI messages to Studio One. So I'll press T to pull up my add tracks dialog and then choose instrument track from the type menu here. I'll just keep the name instrument for now. You can also choose how many tracks you want. I'm only gonna create one, so I'll keep this one here. And you can choose a custom color for the track or you can choose to auto color the track. I can choose to create a new instrument or an existing instrument. But since my song doesn't have any instruments in it yet, the drop down menu just says none. So I'll choose new instrument. From the drop down menu, you can choose a Personas or third party instrument if you want to assign that up front. But for now, I'll just choose none and I'll add the instrument later. So I'll hit okay to create the instrument and I'll zoom up the track height a bit. So when I play notes on my MIDI controller, we don't see any activity on the track. And that's because I need to set up the MIDI controller and assign it as an input on the track. So this menu is the instrument input. We can click on this and you'll see that there's no uh, MIDI controller shown here. So I'll go down to configure and this will take us to preferences, external devices. Now you can also get here by going to studio one preferences and then just making sure you're on the external devices tab. And another way to get here is just to press command comma. So from the external devices tab, I'll click add. Now I have a Novation Impulse 49 keyboard and I don't see Novation from the list. Now this doesn't mean that I can't use it. MIDI is a universal language. So I can just select new keyboard at the top to create a generic profile. I'll just give my keyboard a name. I'll just call it Novation Impulse 49. And then from the receive from menu, you should see your MIDI controller here. So I have Impulse Impulse. I'm gonna select that and hit okay. Now I can see my device in the list and see that it's set up. And now I can select the Novation Impulse 49 for my instrument input menu. So now with my track armed, I should be able to play a few notes and see some activity. You'll see this orange meter, it's really just a MIDI monitor is indicating that the track is getting signal. Now MIDI signals are just notes and control data. They don't actually contain any audio. So this meter is not an audio meter, it's just a MIDI activity monitor. So to hear sound, I need to select an instrument. So with my browser open, you can toggle this with F5. I'm going to go to the instruments folder from the home screen. I'll click on this. And under the personas folder here, you can select one of five included instruments in Studio One. I'm gonna use the Mai Tai instrument. Now you can select presets from here or you can just drag the default setting onto the track. That's what I'm gonna do and I'll show you another way to choose presets. So I'll just drag my tie right on top of my instrument track and then the instrument window pops up. So with the track armed, let me play a few notes on my MIDI controller and make sure this works. So I'm getting sound, but I want something a little softer than that. I don't want a bass instrument. I want sort of like a pad instrument. You can choose a preset from this default menu here and I'll go down to pad and I'll choose the Anthem 1 pad. Let's see what this sounds like.
much better. In the next video, I'll show you some different ways to select instruments, save your own presets, and record MIDI sequences.